Aries, I'm not about to play with y'all. I don't know what's going on with y'all energy. This is the third time I'm going to try to start y'all reading. Okay? How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Royal C. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empress. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Note. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First thing first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Aries, I don't know what's going on in y'all energy, y'all. This is the third time I didn't have to start over your reading, okay? And then Gemini is heavy in your energy. So either you have Gemini highly aspected, like as your moon, as your rising, okay, as your Venus, or you are connecting to a Gemini layer in your energy, or this is some type of strong, this is like somebody here wanted to communicate to you. This could be someone who is two-faced. Somebody here could have been very sly. Okay, a charmer. They could been they could have been the type of person that you could have just like, I don't want to say it, but you could have let this person lie because they're like such an a care bear energy or they were so nice or loving or kind or you know, it's something about how this energy is very comforting with you. So you could have let this person do little things or you could have let this person lie and you could have like pushed it under the rug because of how comforting their energy feels to you. Okay, somebody here, you may not even be in communication with this person at this time, but this could be like you reminiscing. <clears throat> this is someone that may want to talk to you. They may have like strong, they have like a strong urge to communicate. Okay, they could even be sending you telepathic messages. I don't know what's going on, but I tried to start, oh, I tried to do your reading like this the third time now. I'm like, yo, if I don't get it right this time, it ain't meant to be read today. <laughs> And I didn't want to start it over because I had already started it. And y'all got personal riches. What else is, uh, and anybody that's sending any negative energy towards me or Aries, or it could be a Gemini sending you a lot of energy that's negative. Because I keep, I, I used, ooh, like in the other reading, I was like, um, anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Gemini. And I'm like, why is Gemini, I keep, I'm supposed to be talking about Aries. It could be a Gemini sending y'all negative energy too. Take it how it resonates, y'all. What does Aries need to know? <laughs> Anything else, Holy Spirit? Can I get one more card? Okay. You have here wisdom. Yeah, to focus. Look, y'all. Look at what the card says. Something about the bed. So this could happen. This could have happened already. And I said that this may not even be someone that you're talking to. This could have been like a past relationship. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Okay. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. So you guys may need to talk to someone older that has went through a similar situation than what you're going through right now. And it's meant for you to do things differently. If you stay stuck on the past or you stay, you know, it's like you're going to miss out on the blessings that God is trying to put in your face present day. Okay. I'm also seeing here, it's time for you to reinvent yourself. There could be a transformation that's taking place in your life and it's time for you to enjoy a new lease on life okay this could be you signing a lease you could be getting ready to sign a new property a new home get a new car something new is coming in for you i'm also seeing here opportunities so there's a stranger okay there's a stranger that's about to change your life <laughs> somebody that you don't know is about to enter your life someone here is about to you about to meet somebody that is going to have a monumental impact on you Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. That's a lot to take in from one card. <laughs> so you got a strange, there's a lot of opportunities that's being like put placed in your life right now, Aries. Uh, a stranger is going to change your life. You have fun times that are on the horizon. You're going to take lots of action or you're getting ready to take lots of action. And you could be getting ready to be invited to like some type of family reunion or gathering. Okay. Or coming together could be happening. You also have personal riches, okay? Small successes are likely now. So celebrate your wins. You're, you're, you're accomplishing certain goals at this time. You're knocking out certain things at this time. And your spirit team is proud of you, okay? You're going to accomplish so much more. Keep going, Aries, okay? I'm also seeing here there are bigger ones that are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, so your finances could skyrocket. If you were at a place where things were like capped, things were plateauing, things were just like at a at a steady rate, but you wanted things to change in regards to more growth, that's what's going. That's what's getting ready to take place. But avoid any type of get rich quick scheme. So anybody saying, "Oh, I can make you this overnight," you invest this, you invest that. Let's work together. Let's get this. Let's do this. Let's get this money. 
stay away from it. Stay away from it because it will mess up the good karma and the blessings that's coming towards you right now that God is trying to bring in for you the right way. Okay, so don't mess up your blessings trying to like work with down below. Okay, because you lack patience or you lack faith. So you want to manipulate, lie, cheat to get it. That's working with down below. Anytime that you have to lie, can, you know, can connive, cheat, okay, go against the grain or do something that you know is against your morals, values, beliefs, or you know that just doesn't feel right. That's temptation. That's you being, you know, that's that's that's, that's the devil saying I'm here. Okay, be mindful of that. Okay, and then anything that makes you feel a type of way that causes you anxiety, or you know you're going against it, and you feel that gut feeling. That's the angel saying, yo, I'm here too. Okay, I'm here. I got you. Okay, so it's about a choice whether, you know, which one you want to do. Okay, you all have choices each and every day. So it's just about like which direction, what energy you want to be in. Okay, what else does Aries need to know? Some of us and Venus and North Node. What else does Aries need to know? Aries, I don't remember who got this. And I, I don't know if it was Gemini because I feel like somebody in the air signs got this yesterday. And it may have been Gemini. <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all may, go, may need to go check out that Gemini reading. It could probably, it could have a message. It probably has a message for you in the reading. A lot of people here um, ask me, Mecca, is it okay to check out other signs? Of course it is. If there's another sign that, you know, you're feeling drawn to click on, to watch, it's a message for you in that reading. It's also important for you to check out your sun, moon, rising, your Venus, and your north node. So not just your sun. But check out your emotions, check out your moon sign, check out how you love with your Venus, check out your north node where you receive your blessings, okay? The chapter of your life where it, it, it gets a little easier, you're in your purpose, check out your rising sign, which is how other people perceive you to be, okay? Check out your other signs. It's really, it gives you a more uh, broad view in regards to you and your life, okay? Your health is your wealth. So I've been saying this in like all of my horoscopes that I write, y'all. Y'all know that's like one of my favorite lines. Your health is wealth. Get your rest. <clears throat> if y'all don't know, I write horoscopes. Go on Instagram, Mecca Dreams. Check out your horoscope every day, Monday through Friday. Fridays. I'm sorry, Monday and Friday. Fridays, I don't post uh, videos, but I post videos Monday through Thursday. Horoscopes are not posted Saturday or Sunday. Y'all know this, though, because that's the time to rest. But... I love this saying, okay, your health is your wealth. So take care of your health is really, really important at this time, Aries. Gemini is in your energy. And if I call you Gemini, I am so sorry, Aries, okay? Gemini is like, oh, like sitting right here. Like, I'm, I don't know what is happening. You need to preserve your energy. You guys could be moving too quickly or doing something too quick, Aries, okay? And it's like something about, you know, saying restoring your energy, replenish your energy, okay, not doing too much, not overworking, your hidden dreams and aspirations, so you guys have hidden dreams or aspirations or things that, you know, you want to achieve and accomplish, you could even be keeping it to yourself when you are, ooh, somebody here, you are very attractive, you about to dominate your field, whatever, whatever craft you're in, whatever career field you are in, you dominated it, okay, <laughs> you on top of your A game, you one of the best, you one of the best, it could be you and other people. It's like you, you, you're in a lane of your own, but you're in a lane where people are identifying you as one of the big dogs, one of the best that's in your craft, okay? You could also be extremely attractive. Male or female, you y'all look good. Like, <laughs> it's something about your money, okay? You could be very wealthy as well. You may like gold, okay? This woman has on gold bracelets. Someone here could be a dancer. Y'all sexy, though. Know, you get into that money, you know? Get it how you do it. Someone here most definitely could have, like, blonde hair. Someone here also, I don't even know if that is her. It looks like her, though. Someone here likes Beyonce. Y'all let me know if this is Beyonce. It looks like her, right? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like her a little bit to me. But y'all let me know in the comments. But somebody here is very attractive, and you have, like, a very nice body you have like a, a nice a nice figure male or female people like like your body they like the way you look they, they find you very attractive there's too many cards okay like i don't even know what was on the top you're about to defy all the odds you're gonna leave your mark you're about to leave your mark in this world i'm saying here or you you will okay you will dominate your field wanted to come out again so we're gonna just keep that out okay you guys also have your never give up 
and just dedicate yourself. Like literally never give up and continue to dedicate yourself to what you want to achieve because that's what's getting ready to happen. Mamba is here. You got Scorpio on your birth chart. Kobe Bryant could be significant. All right now, at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy came out. Libra got this card. It's all about growth and glory. Okay, beauty for your ashes. You have to go through certain things which were meant to promote growth, but it's so that you can give the glory to God, okay, and so that you can pave the way for others. Virgo energy is here. You're also someone here. You could be getting ready to mix business and pleasure. Okay, so you could be working with your partner for someone here. All right, what else does Aries need to know? <laughs> what else? Tell me if y'all like these cards. These are new decks. I just had got them over the weekend. So let me know. I am definitely going to be getting new decks. Like, I just want to bring a new energy. And, you know, I like having, like, different decks. <laughs> so, and you can never have enough decks as, like, a spiritualist, as a leader, as a healer. You can never have enough. Like, I don't know. I'll be telling, telling Father God, like, I don't want my whole house to be with decks. But it's so good. And I am going to create my own soon. Okay. Yeah, I already know I got like three of my decks. I got to put it into production. Okay, so what does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Ooh! What does Aries need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. Aries, Aries, be an individual and go at it alone. So this is all about you doing something by yourself, okay? God wants you to do something solo dolo, doing it by yourself, being an individual, not having anybody like negatively influence you. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you are a very affluent person. Somebody here is well known. You could be very wealthy, very rich, okay, very financially blessed, okay. You could also be getting ready to come in contact with other affluent people as well. Someone here likes Burberry, Gucci, Prada, okay, Chanel. There's a lot of blessings around you or that's coming about. I'm seeing Kyrie. You also have a major life change that's on the way. <clears throat> this is a major life change that's taking place in your life, Aries. Okay, and it's going to have to do with you expressing your creativity and opening your sacral chakra. So this has to do with your confidence. Okay, you guys may need to work on your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra also is like your... Is, is where your, how do I say this, like, PG, and keep it PG. This is, like, it's where your sexual organs are. So it's something about you guys keeping that balance because when it's, you know, out of whack, that, that makes you do things that you may regret, okay? Okay, so it's something about making sure that you're, you're balanced with your sacral chakra so that you are attracting, so that you are balanced. And I, okay, I get it. This is connected to your creativity your sexual energy is like your creativity so being being very mindful of who you are connecting to especially sexually because it could throw you off energetically and it can mess up your creativity like they say a lot of healers a lot of spiritualists usually are very attractive and they also have like a very high you know sex drive i don't want to say it like that but they have a, like a lot of sexual energy because sexual energy is also healing energy I don't know if you heard that before, but it's something about, so people that have a high healer, they're, they're healers, they have a high healing energy, they also have a high sexual energy, which is also manifesting to your creativity. A lot of influencers, a lot of people, so you could be an influencer, you could be someone that use your creativity to make money, but it's something also about how people could be highly attractive to you, and you need to have a balance in your sacral chakra so that you aren't connecting to the wrong energy or giving up your precious energy to people that just don't deserve it. Okay, literally, yeah. Don't doubt yourself at all. Don't doubt yourself at all. This is your, okay, and I know I, I was like a little, I'm sorry, y'all. It's because your spirit guides are speaking through me. They're speaking to me right now. And I'm just trying to listen and I'm just trying to convey the message and be a good messenger. <laughs> For the divine, for y'all. <laughs> so it's four, three, two on a timer. As I said this, I'm just trying to, okay, so bear with me. Y'all y'all probably like, and it's because I'm listening and I have different spirit guys talking to me at once saying, well, this, 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 this. Sorry, y'all. But your spirit guys are speaking to you right now. They're using me to speak to you. They're speaking to you directly. Okay, let's jump to the tarot. I 
I like this song. It's a new song. It's hard. This song is hard. <laughs> and I had to, I don't even know where I found this song yet. Because they don't play it out here because we in Atlanta. And it's like a New York song. And I don't like that. Like, I'm like, yo, I want to, <laughs> they got to take a trip to home. Aries, there you go. Pop it out with the Queen of Wands. I was about to put you back. Aries, you're in your energy. You look good, male or female. <laughs> Y'all are attractive. Y'all are this Queen of Wands, okay? This is like the, the queen rising, okay? This is someone that, yeah, I'm telling you, someone here, you're extremely attractive. You got high sexual energy, high creative energy, okay? You're very resourceful, okay? You're someone that takes charge. You take action. You don't just sit down and wait for things to happen for you because, like, what is that? People be like, oh, my God, I've been manifesting. I've been praying, but have you been putting in the due diligence to get, you know, what you want? Because Father God is just He's watching you. It's something about, so y'all could be praying, y'all could be manifesting, but y'all aren't just sitting down like, okay, well, I'm going to get a Lambo tomorrow. Father God's going to give me the keys. I don't know how I'm going to get it in this house, but I'm going to get my Lambo tomorrow. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody, <laughs> no. Are you working towards it? Like, you got to be working towards it in the right energy. You got to be, everything is energetic. So is that Lambo attracted to you? Is that Beamer or that Benz? Is that, is that Bentley attracted? To you and your energy <laughs> if it's not you gotta raise your energy so it's so it's something about how y'all are in a high vibes and energy and i'm now speaking for i'm thinking for people that are like questioning like why you are getting certain things at this time people feel like you don't deserve everything that you get <laughs> what the freak Oh my gosh, people are like, you're too attractive, you got it going on, you're too striking, you're too in your energy, you don't deserve the things that you are receiving, the four of pentacles. People want to hold things back from you, time, money, resources, information, love. So people feel like you, you have it all in different ways. Like you could either vibe in the energy of love or war, okay? You, it's however, you wanna, however you want it to shape. How any, however people want to come towards you and approach you, that's the energy that you are going to give back. Okay, someone here is realizing this. This could be an earth sign that's realizing this, that you are not one to play. <laughs> Y'all are not about to make me tear up. Oh! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why is this person so bad? Who is this? This could be a water sign. Somebody is discontent. They are mad. Somebody is pissed off at you, Aries. And it's because you winning. You guys may sit up on a throne or y'all just walk around like y'all are royalty, regal. That's who y'all are. Y'all also give me that lioness or that lion energy. Y'all could have Leo in your birth chart. Y'all could be connecting to a Leo with this Queen of Wands. Okay, but it's something about this for a pentacle. Something about somebody here is mad that you get things. They wanted to hold things back from you and they're discontent because whatever they were trying to do ain't work. Okay, they, this could have even been someone that you were in a relationship with with the two of cups and you could have felt like you could trust somebody. You could have felt like this was a person that you could take along your journey and Father God was like, no. Okay, that cycle is over with this person. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, you got to wrap up something with somebody because they, they don't have their, your best interest at heart. Tell me more about, ooh, what is all this? Yeah, and the in the past, this this even could have happened in the past for someone here, and now we present day, and look who you are, <laughs> the empress or the emperor. So someone here definitely could have counted you out, or they definitely could have just looked at you as sex. Someone that's very attractive, very striking, but not really gonna amount to like anything. Someone here that would use their bodies to get ahead. You are the empress or the emperor. Not only are you attractive, but you got beauty and brains. Like, you, it's not just one or the other. You are attractive. You are intelligent. I wanted to say extremely. Somebody here is very intelligent. You have a high IQ. Okay, and people may even second guess it when they see you because of how attractive you are, male or female. They may say, oh, they're a dicks. Or, you know, they're easy. They're, they, they are easy come up. Or... You know, that that's there's someone that I could push over or walk all over or whatever. People try to second guess your intelligence because of your attractiveness, male or female. I'm also seeing here you're wealthy, okay? The Queen of Pentacles wanted to make, you know, herself known. I can most definitely be talking to a man too. You're just in feminine energy and that's okay. You are connecting to your 
you know, your your other senses. Okay, you could be in an energy at this time where you were attracting what aligns with you. You could have put in a lot of work and you could be reaping your harvest at this time. You could just be getting certain blessings, attracting certain things within your life because of the energy that you are embodying. There ain't nothing wrong with that. This is just the energy. Okay. For the feminines, I'm most definitely speaking to a powerful masculine or a powerful feminine. Okay, a powerful man or a powerful woman. But for the feminines, someone here has counted you out. I'm just being real with you. They thought that you were just sex. They didn't know that you were the queen of swords with intelligence, with intellect, with authenticity. They didn't know that you were the queen of pentacles. Someone who was wealthy, reliable, trustworthy, loyal, faithful, a business owner, a business person. You know how to do business. Okay? You know how to build up empires or build up wealth or save, okay, or, or generate, you know, generate wealth for yourself. You know how to do that. Someone here, or generate wealth for others. You know how to put other people's on and take them up. Someone here could have definitely tried to count you out in different ways. They didn't realize that you are the queen of cups or, or king of cups. Very emotionally and mentally balanced, very spiritual. Okay, you also manifest different things. Like someone here feels like you manifest out your like out of thin air. Okay, the queen of wands. They feel like you just what you think, what you say, it happens. It may take it, it don't even take much. I want to say it may take a little time for someone here. You may feel like it takes a lot of time, but it, the Queen of Wands, this is quick energy. So it's something about, it don't take much time. Okay, it don't take much time. Yeah, you could have chosen to walk away from a situation, and that was your judgment. That's what brought in all this good karma towards you. Yeah, your work is skyrocketing. Well, you need to continue to focus on work because that's what's going to bring you, like, emotional happiness. You could be very happy or satisfied with your work. There's also people in your community that love what you do, Aries. Okay, they need you. Something about, like, these people, like, they... They love what you do, the Ten of Cups. You have a lot of recognition or love or praise in the community. People in your family could also be watching something that you do for work. You may work with your hands or you could be very skilled. Okay, literally, yeah. There is a relationship that's coming towards you with the Two of Cups. This could have been you wrapping up a relationship with someone where it was full of illusions. Or this could be a co connection that's coming in and you're going to have a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. What's the Two of Cups about? What was that? The magician. You're manifesting this. So I see you manifesting a relationship. Yeah, someone that's loyal or faithful like you. Okay, and it's coming in. The Ten of Cups. But you had to rid yourself of some type of player energy or of letting someone be in and out of your life that you may have had deep love for in the past. This person was trying to keep you stuck in some type of cycle or energy. Okay, and it was literally to slow things down for you. The Knight of Pentacles. They wanted to cause a major delay to your money, your growth. You having like a emotional connections that pour into you equally somebody here wanted you to be in fights and riffraffs and competition and drama this could be another fire sign like you could have been a pisces or earth sign aries leo sagittarius pisces taurus virgo capricorn taurus libra is here as well scorpio sagittarius aquarius yeah you laid a situation to rest you needed to you even could have done this in the past with the four of swords and that's what's bringing you good karma wealth the Wheel of Fortune is endless possibilities. It's just God already having things written down for you that are meant to come in during this time. Anything else for Aries? Yeah, your angels and your ancestors, they pissed off about what's going on because somebody here kept trying to, like, throw lies or rumors on you. And this is someone that's doing money scheme. So it's like, they're, this is someone that's about to get caught up. Yeah, you also have true love and marriage that's coming in. For someone here, you could have met someone on Monday or you could be meeting someone on Monday. Yeah, don't let the past hold you back. Okay, there's someone here that could even be trying to project major depression onto you because they're upset that they are no longer in your energy the letter n could be significant that's a lot of cards i wanted to flip so somebody here could have paid or they're playing with spell work and it's not working the mind games have failed in regards to someone that you could be on different pages with the letter e could be significant or he okay h e is here as well h e or e h yeah this was destiny for this to happen Okay, you're going to be meeting someone that wants to spoil you or someone here could have been acting like they wanted to spoil you, but this person only wanted money from you. Okay, I'm also seeing here, yeah, this was an illusionist. For someone here, you could have new love that's already in your life. Okay, or this is what's coming in once you choose to be solo. Okay, you could be meeting someone that has BDE or someone that has BDE or that has that good poom poom. They're going through that karma. Yes, they are. You don't have to question it. And this could be happening today for this illusionist. Okay, because they wanted to be in runner chaser energy with you. And they didn't realize that you have angelic spiritual and ancestral protection, 444, because you are this earth angel. 
someone here didn't realize this or they 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 gonna be realizing it today. Okay, you also have here, yeah, this, there was also sex magic involved. So somebody here tried to keep you bonded to them with sex, okay, or with lust. Yeah, that was that's why. Okay, you also have here, you, and why is that? It's because you were on the right path, 333. Three, three. You've been on the right path. Somebody here wants to stop that. Yeah, you are this divine high priest. And you follow and you listen to God. And, the, and your ancestors are saying, job well done. And they are all around you, your ancestors. Okay, let's get a rec. What is it called? A rebel card? Somebody here is reckless. I wanted to say reckless card. Somebody here could be very reckless. And you could be finding this out about an individual. All right. What else does Aries need to know? Please and thank you. To wrap this up. Get some sleep, Aries. Okay, you are being an ass because you're tired. Face to pillow now. So they want you to get more rest. Okay, anything else that Aries needs to know? Yeah, take a shot. Okay, don't take 12. Take one or maybe two, but you need to move on. I hope this resonated with y'all. May peace and blessings be to you always, Aries. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.